All right, so another day of eating, and it is about uh, noon, and I've woken up at the girlfriend's house, and if you ever get a girlfriend's, they will have nothing to eat that you can eat. They won't have scales. They won't have... Um, I have protein. They won't have anything at all. They have protein that's like $60 for a pound and a half, and it sucks. No. So what we're going to start off to eat this day... Um, I have egg whites. Hush! <laughs> so we are going to eat these light and... Or not... The Kroger brand Greek yogurt... They actually changed the uh, the design focus U 70D. Um, they've changed the design here to look kind of like the uh, the Danon ones, but they screwed us over. And now instead of 16 grams protein, they give us 14 grams protein. It potentially is a smaller container, but gonna eat this. Start off the day with seven carbs, 14 grams protein, and then uh, I don't know. I'm thinking sausage dip is in the, the 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 cards today because everyone who I made the sausage dip and they'll tag me on Instagram saying that they made the sausage dip. They buy those pretzel things, but the only reason I bought those pretzel things to eat the sausage dip with was because I didn't have enough fat for the day. So the real thing is actually chips. You're welcome for the recipe YouTube. My girlfriend likes to think that it she invented mine. the recipe, but no, in fact, Max me. Tuning Productions. Absolutely. Enjoy yes. the video, guys. We'll see you at the next meal. All right, so it is about one o'clock and I still have not had any food besides that yogurt. And I am headed to the grocery store. I think I'm gonna get some sausage dip stuff. And maybe, it, what sucks about the sausage dip is because even with the light sausage, you're still looking at 25 grams of fat for half of it. Okay, because I make the whole container and then you have half. Um, so half of the container sausage dip is gonna be about 25 grams of fat. About 25, 30 grams of protein. No, I'm taking it back, more, more protein. But I might make some of that. Gonna go to the grocery store, figure out what I want for the rest of the day. I think we might end up going to see The Purge Anarchy tonight. Um, another thing that I wanted to say, I know in the last day of eating video, which I'm sure you all watched if you're watching this one, is that Monday, <laughs> everything got delayed for the last one, but this Monday, or it'll be on the Friday, I don't know. Basically, whenever you see a video, and it's gonna have a logo as the thumbnail, okay? It's gonna have a logo, Sometimes that scares people away, but I want you to click on it because it's going to be a great video. It's going to be motivational, and you're going to love it. I promise. So, please watch that video. Share it. It should be shareable. And other than that, thank you for supporting me all the time and watching my videos because it means a lot to me and it gives me something to do. And now, just barely made that green light. So, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Oh, I forgot to tell you what my macros are. So I, I technically have not lifted since I you know, went to the beach. I haven't lifted for an entire week. From I lift, from Monday to Sunday, did not lift. So still gonna keep my macros the same just to be easier. So 400 carb, 65, maybe 70 fat, and then 190 to 200 protein is what we're gonna shoot for in this video. So far I've had <laughs> seven carbs and 14 protein and zero water. So a lot of water to drink. Yep. See the next clip. Again. All right, so we're back to the grocery store. I was going to make a sausage dip originally first, but I forgot the tomatoes. I spend so long in the grocery store again because I'm like, all right, what can I do that's different? What can I do that's different? And I end up forgetting something. So I'm not going to make the sausage dip first. I'm going to do that later tonight. So what, what I'm going to make is our little friend, Mr. Hand, the tuna helper guy. And I originally was getting some chicken helper, but I decided to get a tuna helper again and a little different than what I've gotten before. This is the tuna cheesy pasta. So, you know why I love this stuff so much? Because it's so easy to make, as you see my fancy cover on here. Um, oh, it's hot! Oh, man. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Okay, you see it boiling? I gotta put a timer. What am I doing? You guys are distracted. Oh my god, I only got 2% battery. I might have to come back and do this. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably pause this. Stop! Okay, so the reason I love this stuff so much is because it's so easy to make because you just take everything and you throw it in the, uh, the, the pan here. 
you don't have to cook anything separate with the chicken helper and stuff. You have to like cook the, uh, the, the chicken and you have to cook something over here and then this, you just toss it all in there. You boil and then you reduce the heat, which I'd never know what that means. So I'm gonna try to do like maybe, I don't know, three. Uh, for about 10, 11 minutes and it's done. So tuna cheesy pasta. What's interesting about this is the macros on here, it doesn't necessarily, if you put it in my fitness pal, it'll only do a prepared unless I, I, I'd have to look for another one. So I just add all these up. So this is for the package, okay? So you wanna do this times five, since there's five servings. 21 times five, three times five, which is 15. Max can do some math. And then I don't do the margarine and then you need to add in the calories for the two servings of the skim milk, and then we have two cans of the Chunk Light uh, white albacore tuna, which is gonna be uh, roughly 26 grams protein per can. Oh, you can't see that at all, can you? You know, this camera's supposed to focus stuff. Come on, focus! Focus on the rock! All right, so I'm gonna make this. I got a lot of cool groceries for you guys, and then um, we'll kind of go from there. <sighs> Another thing that I got is this Gatorade bottle and I I always tell people that I use these for water and I always get the comment and be like, oh Max, what about the you know BPA and then the plastic? Okay, here's why. I get this for a dollar or 88 cents, okay? I use this for maybe like one to two weeks, maybe even three weeks, and then I get a new one. And it's only a dollar because I forget my water bottles places and it's only, you know, if I lose this or forget this, and it's not a big deal, I get a new one. It's 32 ounces, so I just need about four of these to hit my water for the day. So that's why I get these, I like these. I don't use them for months on end, and uh, you can just accept it. So there we have the tuna helper with, uh, this is all flavored water in here, but uh, you know, I, I always have trouble eating a full box of macaroni and cheese, so can I eat a full five servings of cheesy tuna pasta? Gonna go upstairs, probably watch some YouTube videos, maybe work on some uh, editing, and then I will keep you guys posted with how I eat this. Okay, so I'm eating this stuff up, and it's actually pretty good. It's very, very cheesy. And I actually have more cheese stuff for later today. What I'm trying to set up is uh, I'm actually gonna try to do live streaming of Path of Exile, which is the game that I play that all you guys ask me what game that I play. I've been taking a slight break because the new expansion comes out in 24 days, four hours and uh, two seconds there. But unfortunately, when this new expansion comes out is when I start back up, because everyone starts from zero, um, I will actually be doing a collab somewhere else in the United States. So I will not be able to play that weekend, which is pretty bumming, unless I can play at the airport. But um, yeah, so trying to figure this whole thing out, eating this, doing that, yeah. So I figured I'd show you guys a little bit of my clothes. A lot of people will comment that they like my shirts and stuff, but, I mean, I realize I have a lot of different button downs. Like, this is like a Michael Kors one, which I picked up. It kind of looks like graph paper a little bit. Then I have a lot of polo shirts, okay? And the only reason I get Ralph Lauren is just because, actually, this is J. Crew. Um, this is J. Crew as well. Um, but, uh, actually, and this is a, one of my personal training clients got me this. This is a company called Leadberry, which is really, really nice. This is more of like a Gangnam style, like really thin shirt that you'd wear like at a beach. I wouldn't necessarily wear that to work. And then there's a bunch more polos, and I have a lot more. I guess this is Vineyard Vines right here. This is Vineyard Vines as well with the little whale, whale, whale. You know, it doesn't take a lot to to have fashion, or people think that I dress better than other people or anything like that. All you gotta do, put some time and effort into your clothes, and things that I would not recommend would be boot cut jeans. Thing, other things I would not recommend would be cargo anything. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend wearing cargo pants, shorts. Um, I would recommend on your shorts to get them a nine inch inseam, seven inches if you want to get a little ballsy, five inches if you want to go chubby. But basically you want the short to kind of stop above your knee. I think that's pretty cool. That's what I like. Again, get a uh, dark brown, light brown belt. Get some watches. Again, I don't have expensive watches. I just get them good deals online. I'm like missing some. Where are the rest of them? I have more than that. Um, and you know, there's not much to it. And, and be your own style. Don't necessarily take someone else's. Figure out what works for you. Figure out what you wear well. Another thing is you want to get some cool sunglasses like I do. Everyone asks me what sunglasses I have. Those are Ray-Ban 4140s, I believe. They're technically called like retro wayfarers. 
and you can't really buy them anymore unless like on eBay or something. I also had these Club Masters. Whoo! But I don't wear these too often because for these you want to wear these with like a button down or something. So I wouldn't wear these with like a gym shirt. I wouldn't put my Club Master 2s on and be like, hey, go in the gym with my, you know, metal frame sunglasses. So, you know, pick your own style. Figure out what works best for you. Don't try to copy someone else's, but if you want some tips, like I said, button down, tuck it into some straight leg pants, get a nice belt. Don't button your shirts all the way to the top. You want to leave the, you know, especially because you lift, you want to leave like the, the first button open, not like Jersey Shore style open, but just, you know, a little so you're not like clenched up unless you have to be at work or something. But that's my Max's fashion tips, you know, and then buy things that, you know, you enjoy. Buy things like... Clark's Desert Boots. I really enjoy these Clark's Desert Boots. Um, these are these are Desert Troopers. Then you got, you know, your boat shoes, even though we're not on a boat. You got your, those. Addy Powers. See, here's an example of some shorts. Like, these are some J. Crew. These are some J. Crew 9-inch uh, shorts, okay? Get a couple colors. Don't be afraid to get colors, guys. Get a nice belt that matches. This is like a Brooks Brothers belt that is slowly dying. Then you can get cool jackets and stuff. I have a whole bunch of jackets once the weather comes around. Like this is an awesome jacket that you won't really see anyone else wear. It's got a very unique toggle system here. This is actually an H&M. H&M jacket. Got like a Ralph Lauren. Some people would call this like a golf old man's jacket. You get like a pea coat, like this is actually a pea trench coat that you'll never see anyone have because I ordered this offline and they make it overseas and you won't find anyone with this jacket, I promise. Um, got some Carhartt jackets for if I'm doing some dirty stuff. Uh, got some more jackets, got like a windbreaker type of jacket, but you know, get some jackets, get some belts, get some shirts, go to outlets, don't spend a lot of money on them and just make your own style guys, it ain't that hard. Okay, so what I'm going to be making over here is going to be a fruit yeah. smoothie. And uh, we got organic fruit. The only reason that I got the organic was because it was actually cheaper than the original fruit. No reason other than that. Got the berry medley, one serving of that, 140 grams. They got the new Kroger yogurt in peach. So we're going to have uh, some blackberries and strawberries and raspberries, peach, two servings of milk in this, uh, this shake right here. Running out of protein, I am cooking over here this mac and cheese pizza flavored thing, which I'll show you guys once I get that out. So knock out my fruits for the day and then I'll have a lot of fat and stuff to make this sausage dip and I might even return these baked tortillas because I'll have so much fat that I can get the hint of lime chips, which I'm super excited about. So here we go. All right, so look at this delicious drink. I've only had some spinach to throw in there for some veggies, but I did not have any spinach. That would have been cool though. So what I got right here is Pizza Cheesa Macaroni and Cheese. This is about 45 carbs. It's new, so it's got to be cool. It smells like pizza goldfish. Um, not sure if it's going to be super delicious, but needed some more carbs, so threw that in. I still have a lot of carbs to eat. Again, I'm running out of protein, and when you run out of protein, it's going to be a good day because that means you can see a lot of things that are high in fat and high in carb, and that's what you're going to want. So the rest of the day, I still have made a sausage chip. Like I said, I might return those tostito chips that I bought. Yes, you can return chips. You can return actually anything to Kroger. You can use a product. You can try something out and be like, you know what? I don't like this, and you can return it. My brother actually tried chips out once. Ate the chips. I'm not yelling. I'm I'm speaking effectively. Um, uh, but anyway. I might, because I need to go back and get those tomatoes anyway, so I might return the chips and get some Tostito Hint of Lime chips, because those are the best. Gonna eat this up, and then maybe some candy? No, I'm trying to make it more healthy. So, more fat, more carb. I'm gonna drink this, eat this, and I'll let you guys know how this was. Macaroni and cheese review, it was okay. Current status, bored. Thus is my life, laying on the flow. Hey. All right, so we're gonna make this sausage dip one more time. So for all y'all that have not seen this dip before, this is a fantastically delicious dish if you have some fat. 
What you're going to need is one tube. I recommend Jimmy Dean reduced. Come on, camera. I paid so much money for you. The least that you could do would be focus. Okay. Um, one container, Jimmy Dean reduced fat sausage. You put that in there. You cook it. Okay, not hard. One container, Philadelphia fat-free cream cheese. One container, okay? Then you need one can Rotel tomatoes. I recommend the lime and cilantro. And that's it. You cook the sausage. You, and then you add these two things. You drain this, you put these two things in there, and then you eat it with some dip, okay? I got these oven-baked scoops because I didn't have that much fat, but I realized I have a lot of fat, so I got the greatest chip of all time, the Hint of Lime. These are without a doubt the best Tostitos that have ever been produced, guys. So, probably gonna have like maybe a serving or two of that, and then a serving of this. And I still have so many carbs, I might have to use my dry cereal or something. But uh, this is gonna be pretty good. Woo! That's literally it, guys. You mix it up. It looks like doo doo, but I promise it's so good. You you take this to any sort of party or anything, and everyone's be like, "Oh my god, where did you make that? That's the best thing ever!" And like, tell me the recipe, and you'd be like, "No, nah, super secret. Can't tell anyone." But really, it's just tomatoes, cream cheese, and sausage mixed together. Um, I usually will put some like, cayenne pepper on there to make it a a little spicy, but the girlfriend might have a bite or two, and she's not about that spicy life. Don't know how. I, I'm not someone who's like wants something so hot that I can't eat it, but I like a little kick, a little kick in my mouth. Um, I wish I could eat these. Does anyone have these? These are fantastic, so good. But okay, gonna bake this. I don't know, I'll show you guys how I divvy it up. Basically, I'll I'll put this out on a pan or something, and then I'll divide it by two because I'm gonna eat half of the entire serving. So I don't know why I need to keep looking in the, in the viewfinder because I'm in focus all the time. Excited for this. So there we go. Get out of there, fly. Okay, so there we go. Um, two servings of sausage dip, two servings of chips, and um, really excited to eat this. I'm gonna wash it down with a Diet Coke lime, which I haven't had in a while. One of my favorite sodas. Took a break from the monsters just for a little bit, and then I'll probably still drink some of this water right here. Get out of here, fly. So excited for this, guys. So I feel like I'm back in my 10,000 calorie challenge, which I'm never doing again. I got so many carbs to eat. This is two servings of the uh, baked Tostitos, and then two and a half servings of pretzel sticks, which are pretty cool because you can eat them kind of like a rabbit. And I'm dipping them in this private selection fiery habanero and chipotle salsa, which I'm not tracking. I basically needed about 100 carbs, and this is what it's going to do. And I think all I need for the rest of the day is like a quest bar to knock out the rest of my calories. But um, still washing it down with some water, and... I also spent $5 on scratch tickets, and I need to stop wasting my money because I'm not winning anything. It's pissing me off. Because you think you're going to win, and then you don't win. It's the worst. The girlfriend is doing some sort of internet workout in my room. Keep trying to get her to deadlift, but ain't going to happen. You can see her arms moving over there, but you can't see her. <laughs> She's using actually a, she's using a Parrot Bay alcohol bottle as a weight right now, so, <laughs> pretty cool. It's about 9 o'clock, and I think we're going to watch a movie or something while I eat all this stuff, and then, <laughs> woo! Alright, see you guys later. Finishing out my calories, going to eat a Quest brownie bar, which I really, really enjoy these bad boys, so, let's look at the macros. 65 fat, wanted 65 to 70, so that's great. 394, wanted 400 carbs, 37 grams of fiber, a little high in the protein, but let's go ahead and you know look at everything so you know I'm not playing. There's the macros for the macaroni and cheese, the added in milk for the macaroni and cheese, half of all of that, the tuna, there's the hint of lime, everything, everything, everything. So, another full day of eating. Done in the books. I think me and the girlfriend are going to watch, what are you watching? Friends with Benefits? Mm -hmm. Friends with Benefits because she has to do a school project and watch some sort of hooker movie like this. Not really sure why, but we're going to watch that. I'm going to just eat this quest bar. It is about 10 o'clock at night. Hope you enjoy this video. If you get to this point, let me think of something else to say.
Babe, think of a random word. Something cool. Mm -hmm. First thing you remember was dirt. Dirt? Okay, <laughs> dirt. <laughs> dirt. If you get to this point, say dirt. Or you can say Joe Dirte. If you guys know what that's from. So, like the video if you liked the video. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too long or too short. Hopefully it was just right. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And again, hopefully a cool video is going to be out on Monday if you're watching this. So, watch that. Thank you guys. We out.